Welcome to GNN Sports. Today we will be discussing all of the college football bowl games, including the college football playoff, on this GNN special report. The first day of college football bowl games is December 16th, and the day kicks off with the Celebration Bowl, which features North Carolina A&T versus Grambling with a noon kickoff on ABC. An hour later, the RNL Carriers New Orleans Bowl kicks off, which is Troy versus North Texas at 1 p.m. on ESPN. The third network to broadcast a bowl game on December 16th will be CBS Sports Network, and they will broadcast the Auto Nation Carol Bowl, which will feature Western Kentucky versus Georgia State with a 2.30 kickoff. Immediately following the Celebration Bowl on ABC will be the Las Vegas Bowl, which will feature Boise State versus Oregon with a 3.30 kickoff, again on ABC. The second to last bowl game of the day is the Gilded New Mexico Bowl, which is Marshall versus Colorado State with a 4.30 kickoff on ESPN. And then the final bowl game of the day is the Camellia Bowl, which is Middle Tennessee State versus Arkansas State with an 8 p.m. kickoff again on ESPN. Moving on, the next bowl game will be December 19th, and it will feature the Akron Zips versus the Florida Atlantic Owls with a 7 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. On December 20th, we have the Frisco Bowl, which is LA Tech versus SMU with an 8 p.m. kickoff, also on ESPN. And then the 21st, we have the Gasparilla Bowl, which is Temple versus FIU, 8 p.m. kickoff, again on ESPN. On December 22nd, we have two bowl games, including the Bahamas Bowl, which is UAB versus the Ohio Bobcats with a 12.30 kick. That is on ESPN as well. Immediately after that will be the famous Idaho Potato Bowl, personally my favorite bowl of the year, which is Central Michigan versus Wyoming with a 4 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. The following day on December 23rd will be the Birmingham Bowl, which will feature the Texas Tech Red Raiders versus the USF Bowls. That game is on ESPN with a 12 p.m. kickoff time. Continuing on December 23rd, we have the Armed Forces Bowl, which will feature San Diego State versus Army with a 3.30 kickoff on ESPN. And then immediately following, we will have the Dollar General Bowl, which is, the, which is Appalachian State versus Toledo. That has a 7 p.m. kickoff also on ESPN. On Christmas Eve, we will have the Hawaii Bowl, which is Fresno State versus Houston. That is on ESPN with an 8.30 kickoff time. All college football teams are given Christmas Day off, but the day after Christmas, the play quickly resumes with the Zaxby's Heart of Dallas Bowl, which features Utah versus West Virginia with a 1.30 kickoff on ESPN. Immediately following on ESPN, we have the Quick Lane Bowl, which is the Duke Blue Devils versus the Northern Illinois Huskies at 5.15. Continuing on December 26th, we have the Cactus Bowl, which is Kansas State versus UCLA with a 9 p.m. kickoff. On December 27th, we have four bowl games as well. The first game will be the Independence Bowl, which features Ole Miss versus Florida State with a 1.30 kickoff on ESPN. Immediately following, we have the New Era Pinstripe Bowl, which features the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Boston College Eagles with a 5 p.m. kickoff also on ESPN. The Foster Farms Bowl is also on December 27th, and it is the first bowl game that uh, the Fox Network will broadcast. The bowl features Arizona versus Purdue with an 8.30 kickoff again on Fox. The Texas Bowl is, is the final game of the night, December 27th, which ironically features the Texas Longhorns versus the Missouri Tigers with a 9 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. December 28th features one of the most well-known college bowl games, which is the Military Bowl, which is the Virginia Cavaliers versus the Navy Midshipmen. That has a 1.30 kickoff on ESPN. Immediately following on ESPN, we have the Camping World Bowl, which is Virginia Tech versus Oklahoma State at 5.15. And then to finish off the night, we have two games at the same time. The first is the Valero Alamo Bowl, which is the Stanford Cardinal versus the TCU Horned Frogs with a 9 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. And then Fox's second college bowl game is also the 28th, the Holiday Bowl, Washington State versus Michigan State, 9 p.m. kickoff. On December 29th, we begin to get into the more well-known bowl games, including the New Year's Six. First game of December 29th is the Belk Bowl, which features the Wake Forest Demon Deacons versus the Texas A&M Aggies as a 1 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. Later in the day, we have the Hyundai Sun Bowl, which features NC State versus Arizona State, 3 p.m. kickoff, this time on CBS. Immediately following the Belk Bowl on ESPN, you can catch the Music City Bowl, which is the Kentucky Wildcats versus the Northwestern Wildcats, at 3.30. Immediately following the Belk Bowl on December 29th, you can catch the Battle of the Wildcats, Kentucky versus Northwestern, in the Music City Bowl, with the kickoff at 4.30. Continuing on, we have another game where the kickoff is at 5.30. That's the Arizona Bowl, Utah State versus New Mexico State. 
You can find that on CBS Sports Network. And the final game of the night, December 29th, will be the first of the New Year's Six games. The New Year's Six Bowls include the Peach, Sugar, Rose, Cotton, Orange, and Fiesta. The first New Year's Six game is the Goodyear Cotton Bowl, which features the USC Trojans versus the Ohio State Buckeyes. That has an 8.30 kickoff on ESPN. Continuing on to December 30th, the Tax Slayer Bowl features the Louisville Cardinals and the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and it is the first game of the day with a noon kickoff also on ESPN. The Liberty Bowl kicks off half an hour after the Tax Slayer Bowl, with Iowa State taking on Memphis at 12.30 on ABC. The second of the New Year's six games is the PlayStation Fiesta Bowl, which features the Washington Huskies and the Penn State Nittany Lions with a 4 p.m. kickoff on ESPN. The final game of the night, December 30th, features the Miami Hurricanes and the Wisconsin Badgers in the Capital One Orange Bowl. That game kicks off at 8 on ESPN. And on New Year's Day, we have multiple bowl games, the first one being the Outback Bowl, which features the Michigan Wolverines and the South Carolina Gamecocks, with a 12 p.m. kickoff on ESPN2. The first game featured on ESPN on January 1st is the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, which is the UCF Knights versus the Auburn Tigers, has a 12.30 kickoff. After the Peach Bowl, you can catch the first of the college football playoff games, which is the Rose Bowl, which features the number two seeded Oklahoma Sooners versus the number three seeded Georgia Bulldogs. That game kicks off at 5 on ESPN. Immediately following the Rose Bowl, we have the second of the college football playoff games, the Sugar Bowl, which features the number one seeded Clemson Tigers versus the number four seeded Alabama Crimson Tide. That game is also on ESPN and kicks off at 8.45. Now, just in case the college football playoff and the New Year's Six games really aren't for you, there is another game on January 1st that might interest you. That is the Citrus Bowl, which features Notre Dame versus LSU with a 1 p.m. kickoff on ABC. In the Power Five Conference this year, the ACC has dominated having the most teams in a bowl game out of the other four conferences. The ACC has 10 teams in, including the number one ranked Clemson Tigers. Next is the Pac-12, and their highest seeded team currently is the USC Trojans, who take on the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Cotton Bowl. The SEC, the Big 12, and the Big 10 are all tied, having eight teams in the playoff for each respective conference. The SEC's highest seeded team is currently the number three ranked George Bulldogs, but with number four Alabama slowly behind. The Big 12's highest ranked team is the number 2 ranked Oklahoma Sooners, and the highest Big 10 team ranked is the number 5th ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Evaluating more about the college football playoff, the committee sparked controversy when they put in the originally number 5th ranked Alabama Crimson Tide over the Ohio State Buckeyes on Sunday afternoon. The winner of the Rose Bowl between between Georgia and Oklahoma will go on to play the winner of the Sugar Bowl, which will either be Clemson or Alabama. The national championship is not until after Christmas break, so expect more coverage then. Thank you for watching our College Football Bowl segment special episode. This has been Savannah Doorway Sports on GFN.